Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Bill Richter at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Kingwood, Texas. This is our regular Thursday evening prayer service for peace, love, and hope, a short service of scripture, prayer, some reflection on the scriptures, and a time for meditation. We hope you find this a nice break toward the end of your week. Um, we hope that you would check out our website and take a look at other things that are being offered during this time. We've got special services during the Lenten season, and uh, we would love for you to come participate in worship services and classes, small groups, and other things. And if you have any questions, the phone number will be there as well, so you can give us a call. Thank you so much for joining us today. It is a blessing and an honor to have you with us. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and set us free. Give your people peace. Come, O Lord, and set us free. Come, Lord Jesus, come. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Dear God, our protector, when evil darkens our world, give us light. When despair numbs our souls, give us hope. When we stumble and fall, lift us up. When doubts assail us, give us faith. When nothing seems sure, give us trust. When ideals fade, give us vision. When we lose our way, be our guide. That we may find serenity in your presence and purpose in doing your will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried in their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea will be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, O Lord, and set us free. Give your people peace. Come, O Lord, and set us free. Come, Lord Jesus, come. And now a reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, I've said these things to you in figures of speech, but the hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and I'm going to the Father. His disciples said, yes, you are now speaking plainly, not in figures of speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need to have anyone question you. By this, we believe that you came from God. And Jesus answered them, do you believe? The hour is coming and indeed has come when you will be scattered each to his own home and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have said these things to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will face persecution, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This will be our last Thursday service in the season of Epiphany. We move into the season of Lent um, this following Wednesday. Epiphany is a Central theme is one of light, the, the light of Christ being revealed to the world. But this light has been something that is a reflection of God's presence from the very beginning. Let there be light in Genesis. The light of God making covenant with the people of Israel. The light that was brought by the words of prophets and priests and kings all throughout the Old Testament. The people's hope was that there would come a time when, when the light of God would shine so brightly that everyone would be able to set aside any kind of differences or conflicts or troubles that they had and stream to the brightness of that light, to understand that, that our issues that seem to divide us and pull us apart pale in comparison to the wonder and the glory of that light, a light of peace, a light of hope, 
a light that, that, that enlightens everyone and everything. We need that light, the light that, that John says shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. Isaiah invites the people to come to the brightness of God's dawning, a sign that God is present with the people and a sign that, that everyone has a part to play in the spreading of that light. Seeing the light, reflecting that light, and taking that light out into the dark places of the world. Jesus tells us that in this world, we will face trouble, we will face persecution, but, but he has conquered the world. The light of God, the light of Christ, the light of the Holy Spirit, and the light of many men and women who have gone before us allow us to shine with the brightness of Christ's glory. Jesus is shining in our hearts. We can let that light be covered up by various things and preoccupations and, and all this crazy stuff that we hear and see around us in the world. Or we can rest in the comfort that that light is the life of all people, that nothing is going to overcome that light, that that light will be with us in good times and in bad times. We take that light into the tunnel at the end of the light. Let that light live in our hearts. Let that light shine in our hearts so that we can be instruments of God's peace. It is not an easy thing to do, but it can be a great source of comfort for us all. The light is there. Nothing will overcome the light. People try to hide that light and try to convince you that they're the light of the world. But that, that is false. Those are lies. And, and the things that try to tear us apart are always in opposition to that light. We are, we are children of light. God created the light. God allowed that light to shine in us. In the fullness of time, Jesus comes to us as the light of the world. The Spirit lives in our hearts as a vehicle of, of the light of, of God and of Christ in our hearts. Rest in the peace of that light as we enter this Lenten season. Be brave. Be courageous. Take the risk of, of shining that light. See the light. Reflect the light. And lighten up is what we all need to do. God is working something out. Jesus is with us to the end of the age. And the darkness will never, never, never overcome the light. Amen. Before we begin our litany of light for epiphany, I invite us all into a time of contemplation and reflection. The idea is, is to be still, to be fully present, surrender to this moment without any kind of judgment. Don't be attached to your thoughts or your feelings. Simply let them rise and fall. Rest in the peace of this moment and know the stillness of God. It helps to focus on your breathing, perhaps noticing the sensation of air moving in and out of your nostrils as you breathe or the sensation of your abdomen or chest rising and falling as you inhale and exhale. I will ring a bell for us to start and the, lit and the meditation will conclude with the beginning of the litany.
a litany of light for the season of epiphany. Arise, shine, all inheritors of God's light. You came and heard the light of God has come into our world. It reached across time and space into our hearts, and nations will come to its brightness. In him there is no darkness at all. Shine in our hearts, Lord Jesus. Arise, shine, bearers of Christ's light. You came and saw that the light of God's Son brings salvation, proclaims God's justice and love, overcomes the darkness and gives new life. In him there is no darkness at all. Shine in our hearts, Lord Jesus. Arise, shine, privileged ones who live in the light of Christ. You came and followed. Christ redeemed our world and draws us into a loving family from every tribe, nation, and culture. In him there is no darkness at all. Shine in our hearts, Lord Jesus. Arise, shine, bearers of God's light. No longer be satisfied with your old life. Go and tell others. Learn to love your neighbor as yourself, so that they too may know Christ and the hope his message brings. In him there is no darkness at all. Shine in our hearts, Lord Jesus. Let us pray. In the beginning, Lord, you beamed light that shines in the darkest hour, a light no darkness could overcome. Pierce the soul of this nation with your light and enlighten everyone with your divine wisdom. Pierce the heart of this nation with your light and blind the demons of violence and hate. Pierce the bodies of this nation with your light that our lungs draw in hope and our hands grasp with strength. May our muscles gird up with all their might and our hearts pump the lifeblood of an unlikely luminous new beginning being born. Amen. And now, let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And now let us pray in the words our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. When you leave this place, go forth in peace. Be assured that the past is forgiven and the future is in God's hands. Return to no person evil for evil. Remember the poor. Pray for the sick. Make no peace with injustice in this world. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.